This is step one per usual. You're just gonna use your cuticle pusher to push back those cuticles and get all of that dead skin out of the way. my cuticle nail bit this is just going to remove all of that extra cuticle that we just pushed back and got out the way it's going to also ensure that your nail beds are totally clean and free of any extra residue or dirt that your client may have had under their fingernails Right here you'll see me going back in in the opposite direction this is just to make sure that the cuticles are really clean on both sides to make sure my cuticle bead application doesn't give me any problems and this is my cuticle bit I'll leave in the description box and this is my sanding band that I will also leave in the description box now I'm going in with my sanding band to remove all of the oil and shine from the natural nail just to protect my nails from lifting and to also help my nail tip adhere to my natural nail beds. I also want to mention just like I stated in my last video, my nail drill is always on a low setting. It only looks fast because the video is sped up but please do not hurt your clients trying to rush and remove the shine from their natural nails. You don't want to rush on any of these steps because you could really damage your client's nails or cut them or cause them bleeding or anything like that. So really take your time and keep your drill on a low setting at all times. This is my top coat. I apply top coat on my natural nails just to make sure that I'm able to successfully and easily pull off my acrylics when I'm done. So for this set, I decided to use some stiletto nails. Um, I really like stiletto nails because I think they're really cute. Um, they really give off a different kind of vibe with my nail sets and they're fun. And in this clip, in these clips, you're just going to see me applying the nail tips and squeezing them on both sides to make sure that they're completely on there. So these next few clips you'll see will just be me shaping my nails. I wasn't able to record all of my shaping because, as you know, I'm not really that awesome at getting everything in the camera but 
I'm basically just shaping at the angle of the nail tips. Like I mentioned, always keep your nail file right up against the side of the nail tip. It will really help keep that sharp, crisp shape. Um, you're just going back and forth, straight up and down. And I'm also going a little bit under the side wall just to make sure everything is evil, even and leveled. Um, you want to make sure you're really getting everything real crisp. This is important before your application because it helps so that reshaping is not so much to do. exactly how you want yours to look if you're doing stiletto nails even with square shaped nails you want to make sure your natural nail and your nail tip sidewall are parallel and equivalent to each other they're on the same level if you know you know and this is just some bomb shaping after the fresh file this is exactly how your client's nail should look okay look at that shape baby shape on sharp now you guys are about to see me start my application process i'm going in with this beautiful blue from acrylics in the shade fiji this application process really took me a long time because at the last minute i realized that my house temperature was a little too warm um if you're a nail tech then you know that acrylic sets really fast and heat and warm temperatures so just make sure you're in a cool environment when you are doing your client's nails to prevent this from also happening to you. I also just want to apologize for this terrible camera angle. Like I said, it was really hard for me to work in the heat while trying to get my house to cool down while working with the acrylic at the moment. So. I had to have my hands kind of in front of me the entire time instead of in front of the camera. But I promise, promise, promise you guys, I'm going to get better. I promise. And here's the outcome of just application. It wasn't beautiful, but I knew I could go in and fix it with my nail file. So now I'm just reshaping the nails. I'm reshaping the top and both side walls the way i reshape the top is by holding my nail file at a slant you don't want to hold it straight across you want to keep it at a slant so that you're not filing your nail uneven if you file it straight across you may end up with too much acrylic on one side and the other side may be too shaped off so i always file at a slant when i'm reshaping the top of my nails and back to the side walls as you guys know, keep the file straight up against your nail tips and file straight up and down. Also, I just want to mention that you don't have to be afraid to turn your client's finger or turn your finger in the opposite direction to get the perfect crisp shape on those side walls. As you can see, I'm twisting my hand and turning my file in different ways to make sure that I'm able to get that sharp point at the end of my file.
to reshape the nails after I perfectly file everything down to my perfection. Then I'm going in with the buff. The buff is just going to help to remove all of those scratches from my nail file and my nail drill and everything I've used to perfect my nails is going to remove those harsh lines from. It's also going to help give me a beautiful shiny top coat when it's time to apply at the end. exfoliant to wash my hands you want to make sure you allow your clients to use an exfoliant soap and water this is very important because you want to remove all of that debris from the work you just did there's so much acrylic left behind dust there's sticky monomer on their hands it's so much things that you want to get rid of before you finalize and seal the deal on this first set okay so make sure you guys are washing good and telling your clients to wash before during and after their services. And now I'm about to show you guys my inspo. So this was the design that inspired me to create this look. I think it came out so beautiful. Um, I'm glad that you guys were able to watch. I tried not to make this video too long. Um, it came out gorgeous and I'm really super satisfied. If you guys like and enjoy this video, don't forget to comment, subscribe to my channel because I will be posting more and like my videos because I enjoy them. I hope you guys do too. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Thank you.